Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, so that's what we're here to talk about. And I'm gonna tell you what's been going on in my life and tell you all my business. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a part of the team. I love you and appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. And while you are here, please consider subscribing, which there should be a link somewhere here on the screen. Um, if you follow me on social media, then you already know that I have been temporarily closed until recently. I just opened up my book a couple of weeks ago and um, started back um, accepting new appointments. In November, maybe like a couple of days before my birthday, um, I lost my aunt. We were not prepared. She went into the hospital with COVID um, things started to look like it was turning around and that she was getting better. Um, and then there was a very quick decline. We had to deal with losing someone who is extremely important to our family and who definitely was an integral part of our makeup, if you will. Then, a few days after her funeral, we lost her little brother. Um, it was very rough for us, for my family, to go through this sort of blow. And it had been nearly 20 years since we suffered the loss in that way. We I lost another aunt in 2017. Uh, my grandmother had 11 children. So, um, we got a, a lot of family. But, um, I lost my mom in 2002. Uh, two months before losing my mom, I lost my grandmother. So, there have been this huge gap since 2002 that we had experienced that type, that type of loss. Like, when my aunt passed in 2017, that was pretty much our only loss until, um, 2021. So the end of 2021, like the last six months were rough. In another one of my videos, I had talked about losing my cousin. I had lost her in August of 2021, and then my aunt in November, and then my uncle in December. So December was extremely rough. Um, I shut it down. I stopped filming. I stopped taking clients. I, I was very depressed and very anxious and very, upset i'm a believer so um for those of you that doesn't is not familiar with the terminology i consider myself to be a follower of christ a believer of christ so uh it was a challenge for me i believed that god would heal them and that they would leave the hospital completely fine i just didn't understand why he didn't answer those prayers. And I felt the same way when I lost my mother. I just didn't understand why um, he decided to call them home at the time that he did. Um, I felt like it was too much. And you know the saying, like, God will never put more on you than you can bear. A lot of people will say that. And, um, you know, um, I generally believe that that has been true. And this was just one of those moments where I felt like, God, this is a bit much for my family. Like, are you sure that we can handle this? So that was tough. And it caused me to close up and, you know, go hide under a rock for a bit. 
and I stayed that way for a good month or two and then I started to remember how my aunt and uncle um, constantly supported me in everything that I endeavored to do, whether it was trying to pursue a singing career or a writing career or uh, relationship advice or friendship advice. Like, they really, like, had my back. Like, I could really count on them. Like, my family, I know everybody thinks their family is special, but my family is, like, really special. Like, <laughs> my family is bum. Okay. So, I just felt like, dang, what am I going to do without them? How am I going to move forward and what for? Like, when you go and meet with your family and you go to get-togethers, there were certain family members that you anticipated seeing. And a lot of them are gone now. Those family members that you look forward to seeing. Like, I knew that my auntie would be in the corner like dancing. She always used to do this dance where she used to be like, and it was hilarious. Like she really thought that she was getting it. She was like, and um, it didn't matter if it was gospel or it be jazz, grow up music. Like <laughs> she was about to be doing that same dance. And my uncle always said like walking around like minding his business. He didn't join in like when they're dancing or anything like that, but he was always like a good time. He, he uh, always cracking jokes, always cracking jokes, messing with the kids. He would eat stuff that didn't go together, like cereal and fried chicken, like and sit and set his stuff up. And everybody knew don't mess with Uncle Tootie's stuff. And he would have a cup of coffee with that as well as some tea, you know, so it, he just was unique. And I felt like all of my grandmother's kids carried that uniqueness about them and it trickled down into their children and in, and into those that they poured into. So, um, you know, I attribute uh, much of who I am to them, to my mother, to my grandmother, to my aunts, my uncles, um, because that's who we had. Like growing up, I didn't have a lot of friends. I still don't. And we didn't need them. But with 11 kids, if most of them had kids, y'all can do the math. There's a lot of kids. We never had no shortage of kids, okay? No shortage of people. Like, it, we was like a, a party ourselves every time we went somewhere. We was a football team, okay? I, I don't feel like um, we talk about it enough, um, especially culturally, about, like, mental wellness and things like that. And when you're coping with grief and when you're trying to deal with depression and fear and, you know, trying to counsel out generational curses that have been on your family, you're trying to change your mindset, you're trying to do something different, something that you've never seen before. Like, that stuff is not talked about enough. And um, I'm trying to open up that dialogue, even if it just starts with, with us here. And, um, talk about that, about how that was really tough to deal with. Um, as some of you may know, I'm also a writer, so I blog and things like that. I went through a, moment, a period of block uh, where I was blocked and I couldn't work on, I write screenplays and plays and, as well as blogging and I couldn't do any of them. And I would literally sit down to my computer and just sit there like my hands idle on the keyboard because I just had a hard time if I'm being honest and um, I was looking for some sort of inspiration and motivation and I believe God gave that to me by allowing me to see some moments where you know I had their support and some things that have been there all along so uh, when I got started doing makeup, it's been about six years since I started. And I remember the very first event that I had, I didn't have any clients and <laughs> I had like a couple of clients, like family members. And my cousins were my clients, my, you know, my close friends, my sister, those were my very first clients. and. They came to me and paid me to jack their makeup up because 
I was just learning and when I look at the old photos, sis, it was not right. It was not right. It just wasn't right. You know, thank God for growth <laughs> and learning. So now I know how, how to do what I gotta do. But it took, it definitely took uh, time, practice, dedication, all of that. And um, yeah, so I think back to that event and um, I didn't have a portfolio. So in order for me to build one, I had some ladies come join me at the Embassy Suite hotel I got a room rented out a suite and I remember leaving I had a client that day it was my first non relative that was a paying client and she came to my apartment uh, she was going to a wedding and I was so excited and so nervous at the same time and I took forever to do her makeup like over an hour and a half to do her makeup and it was a light like a uh, soft glam real natural beat and that was my first time experiencing like somebody looking in the mirror after they got their makeup done and they're like oh, you know like i look i look good and i look like me and that's been my thing and that's what i stick to um because i believe that I, it's it, it's something that i do well it's something that i specialize in and so um the makeup my makeup applications are very natural looking and I didn't even realize that it could be something that's a trademark, could be something that I'm known for. So people, you know, I believe that my clients come to me uh, because they, that's what they want. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for that opportunity, but I remember that event at the hotel and I was just starting out and I left from doing that client's makeup, it came to the hotel and I stood and did um, several, Faces, I believe about five faces back to back um, so that I could build my portfolio. Well, that's how I built my business. And I completely invested in myself. I wrote down a business plan and I went for it. So here we are, fast forward six years later. And um, yeah, so that leaves me to segue into what's coming. So I've been definitely working on a rebranding process where I am completely rebranding Jade Paints. And uh, we're gonna roll out um, some new things so that you guys can see it. I also wanna come back and have some ideals for content where I'll be talking to you guys about how to launch and run a small business. Um, I run my business uh, pretty much independently. Um, I have a good support circle and you need that you definitely need that but remember that sometimes it may just be you that believes in your dream and your goal it may just be you who sees it and you might see something big and something grand and it's hard for other people to see it when it's in embryo stage okay but you know, remember to stay encouraged and stay motivated even on the slow days, even on the hard days, even on the, you know, if you're deciding that you want to become a makeup artist. Um, definitely things that I've learned along this way. I can't wait to share those things with you guys. So that's coming. Also, more makeup videos because I mean, how to more lifestyle videos. As you guys know, Aside from running this small business, I am a wife, I am a mama. Something new that's coming. We're gonna be talking about some health uh, tips and tricks and topics. Now don't, don't, wait, 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 or you click away before you be like, nah, sis, about to start having us eating kale. Don't worry, it's not like this full fitness uh, channel. Like, I'm not saying that, but and there's nothing wrong with that if it's, that's what you like, if that's what you want, you know, maybe we're going to talk about it. But, um, yeah, uh, there's some recent changes that I have had to make for the sake of my own health and for me to be able to do what I have to do to be here for my kids, okay? So, um, something was like, I don't know. So, sorry about that. Um, 
so yeah we will be talking about some things like that also um definitely gonna be looking into some collaborations with some other content creators i have always loved 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 um talking to other people um and you know like getting to know what their process is like that's what got me into youtube in the first place right because i watch it a lot a lot of how i learned to do makeup i learned from youtube you know so i'm sure that that's a lot of people's stories i want to take you along this journey with me as i rebrand my business i did feel like it was definitely long overdue for me to come and talk to you guys and let you guys know what's been going on and where i've been i am fairly new to the youtube world when it comes to filming um but i am blessed to have a daughter who love love loves um photography and uh videography and um maybe youtube is in her future she's only 11 so i am taking baby steps um because i want her to make sure that she focuses on the things that are you know important the things that come before youtube but that may be in our future where we do a collab and you know maybe i'll be introducing you to her channel sooner than later so thank you for listening to me go on and on and on and on and rant but i am excited to see the next step that you know uh we're taking from here and I'm going to be sure to keep you guys updated. I hope that you will stay along for the ride. If you are not subscribed, of course you have an opportunity to do so now. Please consider subscribing. And um, also, if you don't follow me on social media, I am at Jade Paints on Facebook and Instagram. Also, you can visit my site. It is www.jpaints.com. Do people still say www? No. Or do they just say? No. Okay. Okay. So jpaints.com. It's, it's on the screen because she said it wrong. Exactly. And uh, what else? Like, subscribe, share, Press come back, Press watch some of my other videos. Push the notification bell. Push the notification <laughs> bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, love you. God bless you.